Hello and welcome this evening to Channel 36. And our show tonight is Scary Scary, a Mandela Paranormal, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're lucky to have them here tonight. Of course, we just had Halloween and uh, Ghost Hunters. And I find that very intriguing, and that's why I wanted them on the show, so they could tell us all these interesting things and what they encounter, all about the ghosts and how they got into the business and everything. And on my left, I have Josh. Yes. And then I have Chad. And welcome to Channel 36. Thank you. It's a pleasure having you here. And I told him when he put this case down, <laughs> it's, it's like you're getting re ready to do operations. All of the equipment that they take with them and everything. And uh, I think it's good to start out and ask them why they got into the business and their first experience with a ghost. Start off with you, Josh. Okay, so I started in this because uh, I was always really into the paranormal. I loved the TV shows. Uh, I didn't sleep a lot as a child. I just would stay up and watch TV. And in the 90s, all the TV shows are paranormal. They were all like uh, the UK haunted and all that. Right, right. So I would watch TV and I had, there would be somebody walking through the hallway while I was watching TV and my bedroom door was closed. And I know my mom was the same way, you know, didn't uh -huh. sleep much. Mm -hmm. So I thought, oh, she's going to the bathroom, you know, and it happened all the time, night after night, and I'd be watching TV. And one night she opened my door and she's like, have you been walking back and forth to the bathroom? I said, no, I thought that was you. She looks at me, she's like, no. <laughs> so we started figuring out, you know, there was something else walking through the hallway. And I found it intriguing, I loved it. Oh yes, and, I too. And, uh, you know, I got older, um, my, my wife actually bought me some of our first little pieces of equipment and took me out to the Queen Mary for my birthday. Oh, I've heard so many stories about the <coughs> Queen Mary. Yes, uh, we Everybody love knows. it. We know the, the guy that runs the tours on the ship. Okay. I actually talk back and forth with him often. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, she took me out, we did the investigation, and it, it was amazing. I loved it. She's fascinated <clears throat> like you are with the business? Actually, no. She's, uh, she's not much into this at all. And, uh, you know, but she knows I enjoy it. And because she knows I enjoy it, she wanted me to have that experience and be That's able to wonderful. do it. That's a great yeah. wife. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. And, you know, I saw my first spirit when we were there. And uh, it was me and a f bunch of other people because they do up to, like, groups of 30. Right, right. And uh, me and another guy had seen somebody walking on one of the catwalks. And we were like, well, who, who's that? You know, he was wearing a plaid shirt. You know, he had a baseball cap on. We're like, well, there's nobody in the group that looked like that. So we walked back, and it's really, really dark in one of the areas. Mm -hmm. And we're like, okay, well, let's go along the catwalk and go find him. So we go up the catwalk. We have our flashlights. We look, and there's no catwalk. And the catwalk <laughs> has dropped off, and it's oh completely gone. <laughs> and we're like, okay, well, how did he get there? Because there's no other way to the area he was sitting. Wow. So we go back and we tell the uh, person leading the investigation uh -huh. for the ship, and we're like, can we get everybody together because we want to see who it was. Right, right. So we do a head count. She gets everyone together. We're like, nobody matches the description. Nobody's wearing plaid. Nobody's even looks remotely like that. Nobody's wearing a baseball cap. So excuse me, you saw the exact figure. <clears throat> like we we saw somebody walk the... from <laughs> one end of the catwalk uh -huh. down across and behind something. And we thought it, we legitimately thought it was another person. Well, people you know? say all the time they see things in, on the Queen mm -hmm. Mary and everything. And it, it's, it was an amazing experience. Oh, yes. so that's really? how you got started in yeah, the business. Yeah, and I, I came back to work the week after because I had taken the week off for the vacation. And <laughs> right. I was his boss. Oh, And I was like, okay. you're never going to believe really what I've seen. Yeah. So. That's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so. And uh, Chad, <laughs> tell me about the house again. Okay, so... He's in a haunted house, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Go oh, yeah. Don't, so, don't. I mean, like you said, he came back and he's like, okay. oh, yeah, you know, like, we did this whole real thing and he had a couple pieces of equipment and I'm like, oh, that's cool. My my house is haunted. And so I just was telling him the story of <clears throat> my mom had been grabbed in the ankle while sleeping one night. Um, oh, my God. I had been hit in the chest and we didn't really think anything about it at the time. Um... One of my aunt's friends was a psychic. Okay. And so I told her, like, oh, yeah, like, you know, something that happened. I didn't want to tell her everything. I wanted to 
test her credibility. Mm-hmm. And so she goes, oh, you got hit, right? And I'm like, oh. oh. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, that was my exact, like, oh. And she goes, yeah, there's a little boy and a little girl at your house. So she's like, the little boy was jumping on your chest. He wanted to play with you. And I go, wow, really? And so she said the little girl actually had grabbed my mom's foot because she was scared. Okay, did they say where they, where did they come from? I mean, did they live there before? I I have no idea. That's the, and then she also said there's like a male figure who's really mean and he yells at the kids and stuff like that. That's also there. Um, so how often does this happen in your house? He's mm, he's still in this house. You're still yes, in this house. Yes. Um, but do you have any children? Do I have children? No. It's it's me, uh, my mother, and my little brother actually live there. Um, it's two stories. You can actually hear walking upstairs legit. Like, you know, everybody's like, oh, well, you could hear, like, you know, the temperature changes and the floorboards creak. And you could hear distinct walking upstairs. I think we have a couple clips of it. Um mm-hmm. I haven't seen anything, which is good, thank goodness. Um, or have you gotten the equipment in there? Have you done yes, anything Yes, we actually with did that? a full... Okay. That was one of I our told first him investigations. And, yeah. yeah, I had told him, I'm like, yeah, my house, we should go do it. And so, you know, we weren't really getting anything. And and so they had told me, like, oh, there's something in your room in your closet. Oh. Oh, so I go in my closet, and his wife actually jumps out and scares the crap out of me. <laughs> And, you know, so we're all laughing and stuff like that. And then later on, actually on recording, we, we caught the giggling. little girl laughing also. Yeah, so you hear like a so, younger girl mm-hmm. giggling. I know, you know and that, but so, how, how can you be, how old is the house? Honestly, I don't know, but it's it's newer. It's not, it's that not new. like, yeah, we're not talking about like Victorian or maybe 80s at the latest. I wonder what happened in that house before, because I they say know. usually be- things yeah. happen in the house before. Yeah, I'm kind of scared to look everything up. Like, I don't really want to know what, you know, I, it's more like it stays over there with it and, you know, How there's How does your mother feel that. about it, though? I mean, it's, she knows. She, she just kind of... worry or... No, fight? not necessarily. At first, it was kind of freaky, but, I mean, like I said, that was the only thing that had happened. Um, How is she, when she stays alone in the house, when you're not there? That's what would frighten me. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the, you just leave all the lights on. <laughs> it's pretty much um, there's nothing you can really okay but, um, but I mean it's not it's not as severe as some people have you know what I mean mm-hmm. um, what we tell people like when we do their houses is you gotta take control of your house you know what I mean you gotta let them know that this is mine and and mm-hmm. you know we did sage the house and and you know like I said we made it clear that you know this is our house you're not necessarily not welcome but you know, just leave us alone, and you guys can pretty much do it. And it's been quiet for okay. Yeah. For so a while. you feel yeah. like if you're strong and you take control, exactly. the strength they feel and they stay yeah, away. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's the weakness that they go exactly. into, right? People exactly. that are like, weak. I, like you know, I had said earlier, it's it's there's still people. Mm-hmm. They just don't have bodies. They're spirits. They're still there, and they're trying spirit. to come back somehow. And I mean, sometimes they're just trying or they to used to live there, yeah. you know. And they're like, "This is my house." Mm-hmm. And you have to make it clear that you know, like, no, 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 like you've passed on. This is my house. This is now. ours now. Yeah. Okay, so that's how both of you got into the business. Exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. we started it that way, and you know, we were joking back and forth after, and we were like, "Yeah, Interesting. we're we're smash our last names together," yeah. you know. So his last name's Damon, my last name's Gardella. I know, good so idea. we just sla- smashed them together. And, oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, so, well, before we went on the air, we were talking about um, Palmdale. Yes. They just did that on Halloween night. Spooky Palmdale. Yeah, this video will be Let's up talk in about a that weeks. a little bit. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, so, I mean, the hospital. Tell us yeah, about the yeah. hospital. So it's okay. uh, it's rumored to be either an asylum or a tuberculosis hospital. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's out in the middle of nowhere. There's no roads to Literally it. There's no nowhere. address. Yes. We've done so much research looking into, you know, the Palmdale area, and we can't find anything on the building. Mm-hmm. And tell us when you said you were driving up towards the building. Yeah, so, um, I mean, like I said, it's real eerie. It's just dirt road, and then you go, like, a really tight bend, and then you turn, and there's, like, a couple bushes, and then all of a sudden it's there. And, and what does it look like, the building? Just it actually have some photos eerie, or something. like yeah. kind of. It's really, it does like send chills down your spine, you know. it's What really, a place to have something like that exactly, all the way out, exactly. right? Exactly, and oh, it's yeah. more, I mean, it's like I said, I live in Palmdale, so it's like a legend between Palmdale, ah. but no one else really knows about it, you know. So what did you that, do exactly? Tell me so how you. 
we we go and we do saw. the investigations mm -hmm. and we do what we call a tag along mm -hmm. you know and people you know they sign up on our site and they come out with us on these investigations and I want to go. <laughs> we would be glad to take yeah. you anytime you want. Okay. You if you can know. handle it. If, okay. you can handle. if I can handle it, I don't know. I sound brave, <laughs> yeah. don't I? But I, I don't know. But like yeah. I said, we, we do places from Palmdale all the way out here to Pasadena, right. you know, Claremont. Uh, we have a place in Silmar we mm -hmm. do. So, I mean, there's we do a Silmar. wide range of areas. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And um, we, like I, we told you, we filmed there with uh, BuzzFeed. Yeah, uh, they said October. they did a show with Buzzfeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they have uh, Gary Busby and yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and there's two videos up on Buzzfeed right now, okay. and it's of the asylum. They were we took them there for the. Uh, oh, yeah, we scared pretty good out there. Yeah, okay. and we have uh, we did Halloween out there as well. Okay. And we had some great tagalongs come. They've it's, it was their third time out with us, uh, and they've been. How did they handle hooked. it? Oh, they did they great. Love it. They did it's great. Uh, the the one guy he's. Super into all of this. He drags his girlfriend yeah, through like it all really with him. Oh, yeah, hey, come on. That's my really date. I want it's a really funny party. couple, yeah. Exactly. And it's great. So. It's it's wonderful to watch such enthusiasm in something mm -hmm. that we enjoy so much. Yeah, exactly. You know? And he got into it. He sat down in one of the rooms, and we left him with a camera and a walkie-talkie, and How? he sat there and did an isolation How session. How exciting. Yeah. So, yeah, and he loved yeah. it. Uh, and that's what, that's what makes us satisfaction, you know, is that um, – it's actually some some people enjoy it, you know. So you I mean? come so what take we do, Yeah, we yeah. call and, it a tag along. And, they, pay, and yeah. they pay how much to take along? So Halloween was a big event. Uh, it was twenty bucks. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Normal like, events are about ten. Ten bucks. So and nothing too bad. And well, I mean, we ten give you per all hour? the equipment. No, just, no, just ten for the whole night. Just ten for the whole night. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And we give you all the equipment you need, and mm -hmm. it's it's fun. It's real. It's really fun ex experience. You know, oh we've had goodness, yeah. So far, nothing but good. Good comments. So if and, anyone yeah. wants to do it, Please. it's a Mandela Paranormal. Yeah, yeah. You can sign up Have on our website. Have a spooky night. Exactly. Yeah, invite your girl. Yeah. Honey, I there want to give go. you a different date tonight. Exactly. And it's yeah. just it's something year-round, right? Yeah, we do this year-round. Yeah. So it's not uh, just, it's not just, just a limited Halloween time. And, you should you know, be on the dating sites. <laughs> right? We should. We you could. should have something uh, on I think there. he was actually telling me there is a dating yeah, there, site. Yeah, there is a that's... dating site that's like paranormal dating or something. Really? You know, like they're interested in the paranormal. Yeah, they beat us to it. <laughs> ah, so, so yeah, I've but heard of that. there's like I said, we do this all year long. Mm -hmm. well, and excuse me, tell me though, but you said you saw when you were out in Palmdale mm -hmm. by the hospital, mm -hmm. you saw actual figures in the road. Remember, you were telling we've them? we've seen that things was going Palmdale. back that and was forth in Claremont. Oh, that was yeah. Claremont. That Sorry, was Claremont. Okay. Claremont is Claremont. one of our mm -hmm. spookiest. Um, it's you. We've heard audible screams. We've heard a get out help and this is all you know hearing it without any equipment or anything like that um we've seen shadows uh we have a device called a um what is it called uh laser grid laser sorry grid. i went blank for a minute and it's just That's a bunch of lights there. and if anything were to pass through what it, is that laser this is called this a laser, is a laser grid. grid what it does is it takes one laser beam separates it into a lot of like little dots so as you can see on the floor, it makes all these little dots, and it makes okay, it makes like a grid. Yeah, yeah. So and basically, we set it up on a tripod, mm -hmm. okay. And if something walks through the grid, we can see something It'll moving through the grid because it and creates. We've had yeah, it creates some kind of a, a movement. Well, in it the blocks grid. the lights technically. Yeah. Okay. So okay. You and see we've the actually movement. had something run back and forth a couple okay. times. That's only one of all your tools here. Yeah, this yes. is just what, one. What is that? That's a speaker, <laughs> uh, and it's actually hooked up right now to the. Uh, our iPad that I brought over with us. Okay, And okay. this has some of the audio clips that I was telling you guys about earlier. Uh, I can see if I can... This one is uh, from one of our recent ones, actually in Pasadena, uh -huh. at Suicide Bridge that we were telling you about. <laughs> Suicide Bridge. So you hear there's a small female voice there in the beginning? Did you hear that? Yeah, there were no women yeah. with us. <laughs> They're saying over here. Did you hear that? Yeah. That was behind us. So that's spirit. Oh and that was like it said that was loud enough for us to hear mm -hmm. wow. well, for me to hear yeah so he's even you know and this happens constantly <laughs> this is something that it's like a it's like a telltale you know we're like oh chad heard something rewind you know let's find what he heard and it's he does it constantly it's every single time it's on the dot he always hears something you see people say 
oh, I don't believe in ghosts. There's mm -hmm. no such thing as ghosts. But there are ghosts. Yeah. yeah. We've, well, I mean, like I said, folks, what, we there did the video. there are ghosts. Even you don't want to believe it, but there's mm -hmm. such things. Not yeah, that everyone can come back. Exactly. But, exactly. You know. So and we have we get clips like this all the time on our investigations. We get, uh, we have one picture, I think, that I'm not sure if I have it right now. Uh, and I don't know if I sent that one over to you. But they have all these flashlights where they give when they tag along. Exactly. All these different type of flashlights and everything. Yeah, because, I mean, like I said, it's a service and you're paying for it. We want you guys to feel um, safe and secure. You know? Right. And, and so. what is this you told me this one? So this is an EMF detector. What it does is it reads electromagnetic fields uh, produced by your cell phones, appliances, and the lights on it will, you know, go up and whatnot. And, you know, just as an example... You know, you see, like, it reads my cell phone. Right. And this is actually why it they tell us. picks up on that. Yeah, yes. this is why they actually tell us not to put our cell phones to our heads so much. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, <laughs> with all that radiation. Exactly. It's loaded, isn't it? Exactly. Exactly. So, but what we do is we run through the location okay. and you know. we try to make sure that we go through everything, you know. Okay. And we say, okay, well, this is a natural cause. This is natural cause. So later on when we're doing the investigation, we can say, you know, can you touch the meter? Can mm -hmm. you talk to us? You know, can you touch it for yes? And then we can get a hit and say, okay, this is paranormal because we've already gone through the whole room, we've gone through the whole area, mm -hmm. and we know where it's going to spike in the room because of natural, you know, occurrences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did ask him, I said, honestly, tell me, are you really scared? Honestly, or do you go in and say, no, I'm not a bit scared, Josh? I'm honestly not afraid of any of this. I've never had a situation where I'm like, okay, we need to go. I'm usually the one that's like, okay, well, you're scared, but I'm going to go find it. <laughs> I, I love feel? this stuff. Check. It, it, it really does scare me. Because, um, I mean, like I said, I'm the one that gets touched, and I'm the one that it talks to and, and stuff like that. And But, I mean, it's not over, I don't know how you would say it. I mean, it's not like it's scary. It's more like... There's something there, and you can't see it. So it's more anxiety, I guess you could say, right? More anxiety uh, yeah. of the unknown. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. Because yeah. the unknown does intrigue people. Yeah. Exactly. Right? And I did ask them before we went on tonight. I said, <laughs> I hear stories about, well, if you are in the business and you work with ghosts, it's good to use, a lot of people use holy water. Mm -hmm. And some people don't because sometimes the ghost, you could carry the ghost with you when you go. So I <laughs> I brought some holy water along with them tonight. I said, do you want to <laughs> use it? Do you ever use it? And they said, no. I no, no we I know. never used but holy water. But you mentioned sage. sage yes. Tell them we about the sage. sage. Yes. yes, so sometimes we do use white sage and you burn white. it. White. Why, why white? Uh, like I have sage and I burn it as an right. incense. But right. Um, Why white? <laughs> most people say that the white sage is the one that you're supposed to use for cleansing, uh, for you know the paranormal oh, or just for dark new. energy or. So we have white sage, um, and honestly, like I said before, we don't use it on every investigation. Usually, we use it for the tagalongs, mm -hmm. you know, because it's it gives it does give that like placebo effect, right? You know, where right. it makes them feel better. They can go home and sleep soundly. Right, mm -hmm. I understand. You know? So we don't honestly <laughs> believe that it is cleansing us. You know, I, I don't feel personally like it cleanses me and makes me, you know, you know, push away the spirits. Yeah, but the Indians used to use <clears throat> stage for that mm -hmm. years ago. They exactly. used the stage because it's supposed to keep the witch doctors evil spirits away and cleanse everything mm -hmm. and, and sage take negativity cleanse. out of the rooms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Right? Yeah, exactly. And sage does cleanse. So that's why people get that feeling of, you know, like the it's a lighter environment. Sage cleanses uh, smell. So I if you burn it and you open a window and you cleanse the whole house and you smoke the whole house up with sage, it does cleanse odors from your home. It, it does, but it also sm smells like <laughs> weed. It does. It <laughs> Some does. people think you're smoking weed in mm -hmm. the place, I know. Yeah. But when I purchase sage, mm -hmm. I have never seen white not on a sign I on a label believe just I have a little sage. bit here just in our weed bag <laughs> yeah in our little Does tiny bag <laughs> that looks like we're you know trying to distribute okay what <laughs> so this is just oh let me i need to put my glasses on yeah, okay that's just a little this bit is, of it 
Uh, that, that's about a you know twenty dollars on oh. the black market. Uh, yeah, it's weed. white because the other's <laughs> darker. That's a exactly, and it's very strong smell, and it's just dried white sage. It's just dry. Oh, that's good. I have to get some. I have some sage <laughs> at home, <laughs> but it's darker, not the white. Right, but yeah, it's just, and like I said, we burn it, and it you know it smells. I I think it doesn't smell that bad. I uh, love the got, smell of yeah, it. It's got a, yeah. quite a nice smell to it's it. It's a nice, clean, um, cleansing. But I like incense. I burn incense. Mm -hmm. no. What is the most intriguing job you've been on since you've been doing this? For uh, the most interesting. Honestly, I'd say some of the best places is it's probably EV Canyon in Claremont. I mean, that's where I was able to see an actual person. Um, like I was saying earlier, I walked through you know, back to the trail, and we could hear women talking, so mm -hmm. we're like, okay, there's some hikers coming up the trail, because uh -huh, it's, you uh -huh. know, Evie Canyon is ha has now turned into a hiking trail. Uh, and back in the day, it was rumored to have been, you know, gold mining area, where the miners had gone through and massacred the Indians that uh -huh. lived on the land. And uh, there's a lot of deaths up there, from canyon racers to uh, bicyclists that have been hit. There was a ghost bike up there for a while. Right. And so I walked back towards the trail, and through the brush, bushes and the trees and everything, I could see a girl. And I'm like, okay, you know, there's some young kids that came up the trail, you know, they're hiking in the middle of the night, whatever. And I could see, you know, she was white, she had long brown hair, it looked like she was in like a letterman's jacket, because it was real, kind of like big and puffy, mm -hmm. you know, and you could tell like she was slender on bottom, so it, you know, gave that effect of the letterman's jacket. And it looked like she was in jeans, you know, so I was like, I could see enough detail to where I'm like, okay, there's there's somebody standing there. Mm -hmm. So I went around to the trail, and I screamed back to everybody. I'm like, there's nobody here. And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, I saw a girl clearly when I was walking through here. I said, but there's nobody here. And I walked the whole way back down the trail, all the way to where we park. And I'm like, there's no cars here, you know, that aren't our cars. Oh I'm like, and there's no goodness. other place they could have gone to. <laughs> So, you know, at that point, we're like, okay, well, we have to realize that that may have been paranormal. That may, I may have seen someone that, you know, isn't with us physically. You see, what I was saying, you know, on television, I'm not mentioning any shows at all, but you just see something like the lines. You never exactly. see the real <clears throat> figure, hardly. And that's mm -hmm. why I asked him, have you seen real figures there? They're hard to catch. They're really yeah, hard they to are. Catch. On camera, we take everything. We don't have anything but yeah. one picture of something that might be. I mean, we have seen it with your eyes. You know, the main the main thing is you'll be walking with a camera and you're like, "What was that?" Bam, there it is. Well, you can't get yeah. the camera over there fast enough. Yeah, the camera's here, and you're looking over here. Yeah, it's always out of the corner, oh. most of the time. Do you have any people? They say there are a lot of haunted houses up in uh, the hills. Mm -hmm. Do you know of any up there or anything? Honestly, we haven't most, done any yet, yeah. but we're, we want to. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, we, we have, we've had them. people that have called us and they're like, my house is haunted. And we've done a few little ones here and there. Um, all the cases we've done thus far, it's natural causes. Mm -hmm. It's not that their house is haunted. It's that, you know, they have a low wood ceiling and they think they hear footsteps. And what it is, is it's the temperature rising and dropping and causing oh. the wood to expand. Mm -hmm. And the popping noises turn into what sounds like a footstep. Right, you right. Know, and when it does it one after another, it does create that illusion of somebody's walking. So they think or that's... Well, how about you just <clears throat> told me about that woman with a table or something? Exactly. Mm. It was high EMF fields causing her to hallucinate. Oh, my God. You know, God. and because the house was so old and it was built back in, like, 56, all the wiring wasn't covered properly, you know, and when the wiring gets so old, it stretches out. So that's what people hear. I think we exactly. all hear sounds mm. sometimes, mm -hmm. and we all think of yeah, ghosts. Exactly. We never think it, of, it is, it excuse is me, mostly, wiring. Uh, you know, your mind also playing tricks. Exactly. Right, the like mind you does. You think you hear something. Well, I think I heard something. Yeah, and about 90% yeah. of homes, you know, that are claimed to be haunted, it's natural causes. But that's not to say, you know, it's, it is or it isn't. Mm -hmm. What's the rest so, of this stuff here? So, what, what is all of this? A lot of this is <laughs> wires for some of the equipment for when okay. we plug it into charge or when we plug a speaker into something. You okay. Know. Um, and then you show me another white piece of equipment. Yes, another. these are motion lights. Motion lights. So because the motion these light are is. your everyday motion light okay. that people put up, and they put it up like hanging it in a closet or something. Right. You know? And it's so when you walk in, you know, it catches that you've walked in and it turns on. What we do is we set them up on like the floor somewhere and we'll put them in like a doorway. 
Uh-huh. And I'm like, okay, so nobody should walk through this doorway, you know, so they don't set off the light. And we're put it there and we'll put a camera on it or we'll be in the room and we'll set a few up in the doorways. And we'll wait and see if, you know, something walks by and turns on the light. But because it could be a rat, like you said, exactly. too. Exactly. Yeah, it, right? it could be anything. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so, I mean, that's why we, you know, we film everything. So uh-huh. that we can say, okay, well, we saw the light go on, but, you know, we're in pitch black. Right, You know, right, it, right. it doesn't look like that because we have IR lights on and it's all night vision on the cameras. Uh-huh. So people will see, you know, what we can't visually see. Right, right. You know, and that's why we have flashlights and people don't realize. You have all that. You have another case. What's in that other case? Yeah, and the other case is actually some of the cameras. Um, and I actually brought in an IR light so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it is and what it does. So... This is an IR light, and this is just one what of our smaller What is that called ones. again? An IR light? IR. So it's, it's infrared. infrared. Okay. And what it is, these all these lights produce a light source that we can't visually see with our eyes. Okay. And the only thing we would see is this would glow slightly red. And what does that do? This is what creates the night vision that our cameras can see. Okay. So, and the cameras, you know, view everything in night vision. Mm-hmm. So that we're in pitch black, but you know we can still see everything that's going on and see all of what's around us. Oh, in especially the camera. like going to that hospital at night. Exactly. So I mean, these are just a few oh. of the cameras. Mm-hmm. Just the dark alone, I think, really scares me. Like most people, you know, mm-hmm. darkness yeah. like that with nothing around. Exactly. That's and these are some of the cameras we use that are you know night vision capable. So and they also have like their own little IR lights on them, mm-hmm. but we have to use external IRs that mm-hmm. plug into battery packs so that we have that extra output for well, some of the areas carry that all are this bigger. Equipment. Yeah, and they're usually on a <laughs> tripod, you know, and right. we we have brackets that come up and you know put the lights on and all that, and it's all strapped on and. Uh, and you sleep peacefully at night. <laughs> I do sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Now I want to ask you, a good place to go, I think, now I heard about this, tell me. There used to be a sanitarium downtown. They closed it, they released people years and years and years ago, but they say it's haunted. Some sort of like hospital or sanitarium or something like that. Do you think, know of that? Do I think know? I know what you might be talking about. I think you're talking about, it's in L.A., right? Yes, it's in L.A. I think you're talking about... Um, Linda jail? Vista. The jail? No, I think she's no, talking not about the jail. Linda. No. Oh, Linda Vista Hospital. Yeah, it was a mental talk- place. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. you're talking about Linda Vista Hospital. Now closed down. Have it's closed ever- down yeah, and right, it, it right. is now an old folks home. Yes. Oh, it's an old folks yes. home. Yes. So it's what happened? People. Oh, I thought people. it was empty. Then forget <laughs> that. You can't go there. <laughs> right. So what happened is, you know, they turned it into an old folks home and which is horrible, by the way, because yeah. you're putting all these poor people into yeah. a haunted ah. location. And they're going to be like, oh, I'm hearing something. No, you're just old. You're oh, crazy. Oh, that's you're terrible. Crazy. Terrible. So, I mean, you know, our horrible. time is running really out. It's mm-hmm. been fascinating. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could talk forever with you yeah, exactly. with the stories and oh, everything yeah. like yeah, that. But um, when I called him up and I said, oh, I hope he says yes. I hope he's going <laughs> to be on the show because I want to find out everything about this. But... I would like to take along sometime. Yeah, we'd love to love take you. Yeah. Give you a call. Um, I want that experience and see yeah. well, whether our, I could take it. Yeah, our next date is uh, November 14th. Uh, we're doing a cemetery in Silmar. Oh, a cemetery. I don't know about a cemetery. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank it you was wonderful it. having you. It's great. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Raul, Yvette. Thank you so much, the crew. It's wonderful. And cemetery, maybe I will be going. <laughs> thank you very much, John. I appreciate it. Thank thanks you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.